Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Darksafe Walker, and it is yet another late night recording for me, so I'm hoping that I don't completely flounder it on this one. <sighs> As you can see, I'm already off to kind of a crappy start, so hopefully this doesn't continue. But today, I kind of wanted to do a Arcana Spotlight focus on another new one. This time, we're going to be looking at Sonic Breaker. Now, I could have gone with the... What's it called? This is how you know I'm tired, because I can't remember normal things. Analytical Monocle. I could have gone with the Analytical Monocle, but I wanted to go use a different critical hit item this time around. And I figure that the... Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, pardon me. I figured that the... Glasses would be good en good enough in this case. Two reasons: one, because I'm obviously still quite tired and probably going to make a good number of mistakes in this run. But secondly, and see, there we go. Already screwing up. All right, so I'm gonna say right now that this is probably going to be an Arcana that's going to have a bit of a learning curve. But I think that's mostly because I'm trying to use it in rooms that are going to be in rooms that are just generally difficult to, be, to use Arcana and even similar to that. So I shouldn't be too surprised that I was getting a little beat up there. Moreover, I must admit that when it comes to recording times, I think I definitely prefer doing it in the morning. Right, hold on. Oh. I am not feeling well, I apologize. So, I think if I find the Cursed Relic, then I will take the Curse Eater's Vest. Otherwise, I'd rather have the Heavy Travel Jacket. So, let's see what comes up. So, right off the bat, I'm just going to say this, this, this spell offers a lot of control. Like, that is crazy how much control you have over that. Yeah, Sonic Breakers was one that when I first saw it, I immediately said, yeah, this is going to be high tier. This may be one of the best Arcana in the game. And then Radiant Beat is doing a great job at crowd control, like... Curses. There we go. And Thunder Drop. You know what? Not a bad thing to have. Though I am a little disappointed that the first the first run I I actually go to pick Sonic Breakers to use to actually show it off. Okay, you guys can you guys can all kiss my ass. Yeah, first run I go to use Sonic Breakers on, two of the two of the three bosses are gonna take reduced damage from it, so it's probably gonna look a little bit worse than it really will actually be. Because for two-thirds of the time that I'm going to be using it, it's not gonna be doing everything that it should. Really. Uh, 
then also not helped by the idea that I am kind of playing like shit right now. I don't really want any of those. Like, again, you could actually help me out by upgrading some of the things I'm actually using, but no, that would be too considerate now, wouldn't it? And I'll take Sano's headband because I'm getting tired of being interrupted. can discern so far, and that is a lot of damage to be taking on stage one. Holy crap. I am definitely not doing well. Probably one of the... one of the things that's... that's going to need to be determined quickly, quickly while you're using this arcana is when is the best time to just throw it out, and when is the best time to actually take control of its movements. That is something that's going to come with experience, so hopefully no one thinks that I'm, you know, doing super, super poorly, you know, for using something that I've honestly never really used before. Well, you know what I have to buy. That's just not even an option. Radiant Beat, and then I will use Nocturne Services, maybe find myself something really nice. The whole point, of course, being that he's going to take the oldest standard arcana that I have, which will, of course, be Radiant Beat, which I would rather hold on to. This is one I definitely want to make sure I have a good amount of practice with. So, uh, hey, Iris, why are you not helping me out, like, at all? Which, by the way, is... I admit, I kind of asked a little facetiously on my last video, but does anyone know if there's any correlation between you breaking her stuff and her not being willing to help out very much? Like, I don't know why that would be a thing, considering how the game is essentially set up, but I wouldn't put it past wouldn't put it past the devs to put something like that in the game. They are generally pretty pretty detail focused. Like, I'm just wondering if that's actually a mechanic that I need to think about. Like, might, might that be why she doesn't offer, offer me many, Ar many Arcana upgrades anymore? Or is it more so just because, more so having to do with the number of runs that you win, maybe? Like, maybe if you're on a losing streak, she's more likely to help you out, or... 
I don't know, I'm looking for any sort of explanation as to how I can be as unlucky as I am working with her. Like, maybe the answer really just is, I'm, I'm, the, I'm just garbage. I have the worst luck, and I, and I will basically never get anywhere working. time in case I missed anything, and no I didn't. And come on, a bladed vine upgrade at the very least. Maybe upgrade my radiant beat. Yeah, you could do something to help me out here, Iris. Seriously. Yeah, definitely, definitely worth making sure you take this on a critical hit build. Oh, it'll do, it'll work wonders. Of course, so would most of the other Arcana I have, if I could ever get them upgraded. That's kind of the thing with the uh, with the Arcana that I chose is that they are definitely better better suited to critical hit builds after they've been enhanced. Sano's headband is definitely the right choice for you for use with this though. having fun with this build, uh, though I am also wondering if I may be doing, doing it a little wrong. One little bit of advanced tech I just noticed, though, is that after you let go of the B button, the wind will continue traveling in the last direction you specified. We'll definitely get the robe upgraded, greater critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. I think there's really no reason not to go with that. And I would gladly take the radiant beat. No, I'm... Yeah, I'm kind of not sure about any of those. Like, the ideal is Scorecard being the best thing there, and typically I take damage fighting Shu just with his, like, tricks and movements.
so very unsure whether or not that's a good idea. And it also seems like they cancel out projectiles, or enemy projectiles, which is nice. Not always what you want, but at least the, at least it means that Sonic Breakers has a defensive piece as well. I was gonna make it out of that one with, you know, without taking too much damage. Looks like I did okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm not even worried about that. Yeah, this is just very much a bust of a floor. So many breaking sonic booms, I love it. We'll grab that. If nothing else, it'll be useful against Zeal and her minions. But how much you want to bet that she's gonna help she's gonna help me upgrade that, but oh hello what do we have here. Lowers damage after a short duration. Okay, so I might want to end up going with Glass Cannon, but if I find the Wanderer's Mechanism, I will take the Volatile Gemstone. for being so quiet, it's just I am also kind of sleepy. I know the general the general question will be why 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 record videos while you're super tired like that and it really just kind of boils down to I don't want to keep you guys waiting forever for another video. Also, I'm wondering if I have Radiant Beat wrong, because I just noticed that what's doing the multiple hits is the shock status effect. Maybe Radiant Beat is actually better on a power build. Okay, this is going to take a little too long this way. I just darted right back into it like a complete genius. Okay, so she's gonna... <clears throat> like, seriously, she absolutely refuses to help me upgrade my basic. Like, I don't understand. What is up with that? Okay. 
Like, the only reason why I took Blade and Vine is because of how it gets upgraded. Otherwise, I would have just picked something, you know, a little bit more simplistic. Not that Bladed Vines isn't simplistic, but you get what I'm saying. Yes, I very much like how Sonic Breakers works. Like, this may end up becoming a new favorite of mine. It's just a matter of learning how to use it, that's all. Like, it's one of those... It's one of those Arcana, I would say... I would say it doesn't necessarily have a steep learning curve, but it definitely has a learning curve. Like, it does behave differently from other Arcana. Like, very rarely. Oh, he's offering it again. <clears throat> yeah, very rarely are there many Arcana that require you to have a follow-up input after you use it, but this is definitely one of them. Ow. Still, still a little disappointed with what we've gotten, but again, I can deal. Now let's go ahead and go on back. Yes, I will take the glass cannon at this point. I'm gonna take the token of doom. gonna save my money because I know me I'm going to end up getting hurt pretty badly fighting Shu especially since I am playing while sleepy which yes maybe I shouldn't do that but like I said my reason my reasoning is already out there I don't want to keep you guys waiting forever for another video myself well enough to know what's uh, to know what's likely to happen and I did not disappoint myself I also have yet to really play around with razor petals new <laughs> new signature upgrade which I personally think it'll be really good but I know that there. I know that a number a number of people are already kind of iffy on Razor Petals just because it has it has a very specific hitbox, which I get why that would be annoying. Don't get me wrong.
And sometimes the very specific hitbox on Razor Petals bothers me as well, but... Typically, I think the good outweighs the bad on that bad boy. Wouldn't mind getting the Ring of Reserves either, now that I think about it. Okay, starting to starting to get kind of hammered on a little bit here. Lame. Oh, and those can detonate the nitroglycerin barrels. All right. It's like there's almost no downside to this to this skill. Oh, definitely want that. And I want that because I know that Iris is never going to actually upgrade my basic. So I'll take it for myself. Also, the critical hit chance, only 5%, but the idea that it enhances the basic is already nice. So making it so that it also gives you a little bit of a critical hit chance bonus is really nice. Adhering to the idea of supply and demand, huh? Alright, so... This is probably going to be really obvious, but... One of the things that you really have to be careful of is not to be using it. Not to be using the controlled version of it when you have enemies in your face. That's one of those times just to set a direction and let her rip. And I'm still very sleepy. Hey, uh, you know, Crimson Clover, that, that could be a good idea. Just saying, that, that could be a really good idea. grab that too. After all, we have to be prepared for Sura somehow.
Oh, is this the original one? Wow. I'm surprised he made it that far. Yeah, 317 damage because I'm getting carried away with the Sonic Breakers. It's also kind of why I wanted to use the Vampire's Eyeglasses, because I had a feeling I was going to get carried away. Now, I know a lot of you really like Glacial Getaway, and that's one that I'm probably going to have to try out pretty soon here. Like I said, I, was, I had a pretty good idea I was going to get carried away with the actual controlled aspect of Sonic Breakers, so... It seemed like a good time to just break down and use the Vampire's Eyeglasses, if you ask me. And whereas I don't regret that choice, I'm also starting to think maybe I should be a little bit... Maybe I need to calm it down a little bit, you know, focus a little bit more on survival. Now, to be fair, if I didn't have Sano's headband, that would just be ending right there. Alright, sir, have anything good for me? Um, not really. I mean, Pathfinder's knapsack is kind of nice, actually. This has definitely been a run of not many, re not many good relics to find. So you just kind of take what you can get. With the exception of the fairies, of course, but they are, of course, not relics, they're friends. The idea that you have to sit still while you're controlling your wind fonts is, is of course, the difficult part of using that. Okay, yeah, definitely not happy with the fucking fire summoners. Hmm, not seeing many ways out of this. Alright, so we're going to have to be exceptionally careful. There we go. 
somehow managed to survive that. But I mean, ultimately, it's just because I'm not being careful. I'm just just kind of having a lot of fun with this with these Sonic Breakers. And they are powerful, but they can also leave you in a real bad spot if you're not careful. Alright, thanks game for not letting me move. Those are trickier to use than I initially gave them credit for, so just be careful when you're using them. Like, this is one of those arcana that I think it has incredible potential, but it also needs to be approached with caution. Now, it can do an awful lot, but it can also leave you in a real bad spot if you're not careful. It is very much the definition of high risk, high reward. That I can definitely see becoming like a pretty heavily abused speedrun tool. And we will all know exactly why. Give me that. Yeah, I'm not good enough with this tool to consider facing third phase Sura with it, but I definitely like it. Like, this is one of those things that I think definitely needs needs a little bit of time in the oven to master. And yeah, I'm definitely thinking that. Definitely thinking that Radiant Beat is more of a power tool than a critical hit tool. And hopefully this is giving you a pretty good idea of some of the ways to use this Arcana. God, his stun time is so much shorter than it used to be. Sad. 
There we go. So that's your best that's your best means of using it, is use it as a combo tool to start hitting him and then dart in with something else after you've gotten him stunned. Definitely not bad. I will definitely be thinking that Sonic Breakers will be showing up in some pretty high high caliber runs. Definitely not this this one because um, if in case you didn't notice, I got garbage for relics. So I mean, this would definitely be like if I were doing more than one run at once, if I was doing endless, this would be the run to do it on because you have so much potential. And it got pretty badly undermined by things like the fuzzy mittens. Woot. So, <sighs> you'll forgive me if I don't find this run to be just absolutely bombastic, but was it good? Yeah, it was good. And again, I definitely think Sonic Breakers is... Again, it's got... It, I, okay, I said it didn't have much of a learning curve earlier. Scratch that. It's got a pretty steep learning curve, but the sort of modal things that you can do with it and what it can translate into, I think this that's a, a spell that has a very high skill ceiling that I'm really hoping to see abused in the near future, either by myself or by whoever. But that's enough for me. I'm rambling again, so thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you spending some of your free time with me. Do me a favor, drop me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, you know, the YouTube song and dance. Check out my social media, links to which will be in the description below. And by now, the subject for Wizard of Metal should be known, but I haven't checked the poll yet. But you'll know what it is come Monday. That's the Wizard of Metal Day, and I hope you guys are, are looking forward to it as much as I am. That having been said, my name is Darksage Walker, and I will be seeing you.